Hi there, this is Lydia from STEM Enthusiast, and in today's video, I want to introduce you to two reference managers, EndNote and Mendeley, which will help you organize your citations when you're writing lab reports, assignments, or essays. The first citation manager that I'll be discussing is called EndNote. Once you open EndNote, the first thing you'll want to do is create a new library. I usually create a new library for each project that I'm working on so I can keep everything organized. By clicking New Reference, you'll be able to manually input your citation information. Start by selecting the appropriate reference type from the drop-down menu as I'm showing you here, and then use the information that you have to try to fill as many of these fields as you can. Now this isn't the only way for you to cite information though. Another way is for you to do an online search. I also find this really useful when you're trying to just read a variety of different um, papers on a specific topic. So what I'm showing you here is a bit of a broad search. I just inputted a few uh, keywords instead of a specific title and I also did not input a specific author. So I'm getting hundreds of results on this topic, but this is great when I'm just trying to find different sources and I don't already have some in mind. Now, of course, if you do have a specific paper in mind that you want to cite, you can definitely input that information and then do a specific search as well. If you're citing a research article, in many cases, you're able to just download the reference directly from the website where you're reading it. Um, so uh, here I'm showing you how I'm downloading this reference for a paper and I'm just choosing the EndNote format. And then you'll see that once I open this, it will automatically be added to my library. Depending on the website where you're accessing your article, the citation button may be placed in a different location. I recommend installing the EndNote add-in for Microsoft Word because it'll allow you to type and cite at the same time. Just go to the EndNote tab and click Insert Citation, and then you'll be able to select uh, a paper from your EndNote library. Because I have instant formatting on, you'll see that if I change the citation style, both my in-text citations and my bibliography will be automatically updated. There are many citation styles to choose from, so just make sure you choose whichever one is relevant for your field or for the course that you're taking. I'm going to change my citation style back to um, ACS formatting, and then I'm going to show you um, how I normally would use EndNote. So I always like to have my references page or my bibliography um, on a separate page. So I just insert a page break as you see here. So this just allows me to have everything like it would be in the final copy. And then I just keep typing my information and adding my citations as needed. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, I always like to have instance formatting on because I like to see changes in real time. So here, if I were to delete one of the citations, you'll see that it will automatically be updated. Now let's talk about Mendeley. As you'll see, it is very similar to EndNote. Install the Microsoft Word plugin by going to the Tools tab. I already have it installed. And then you can also add an entry manually. So simply select the type of reference that you're going to be inputting, and then type out all of the relevant information that you have. We can also do a web search here by clicking literature search, and you can either type a specific research article that you're looking for, or just a few keywords as I'm doing here to access a variety of different uh, papers. And then you can just save this reference directly. So it'll be in your actual Mendeley library, as well as in your recently added uh, folder. If you downloaded a citation directly from the web, as I showed you earlier, you can also import them under the file tab. When we go to Microsoft Word, we'll see that the Mendeley section is actually found under the References tab. It doesn't have its own tab like EndNote did. However, we're still able to access all of the same functionality. We can change the citation style and choose from a long list of options. We're also able to cite as we type by clicking the Insert Citation button. Make sure you select the correct library, and I suggest you still have one library for each project you're working on and then uh, just select the appropriate citation. In this case, you have to click the Insert Bibliography button for the bibliography to show up. 
Uh, and you can do this either at the beginning like I'm doing here or you can do this at the very end, whatever works best for you. Now I'm going to continue typing and just showing you um, how this uh, real-time editing works. So I'm just adding yet another citation here. And then you can see that I have my uh, bibliography on the right. So if I change the citation style, you'll see that that will be automatically updated both for the in-text citations as well as the bibliography. I hope this video has shown you how convenient and helpful it is to have a citation manager. It helps you organize all of your references in one place and also make changes to your citations in real time as you write. Now, I give you two options in this video, EndNote versus Mendeley. Which one's better is really up to you. If you have the opportunity to try both, then you can decide which one works best for your needs. I will say though that one big difference is that Mendeley is free, whereas EndNote is not. So I get access to EndNote via my institution, and you may be able to get access through yours as well, so check that out. If you don't have access to EndNote and you don't feel like spending or are not able to spend a couple hundred dollars to get this uh, citation manager, I definitely recommend trying out Mendeley. It is free, it's convenient, and it has some of the same functionalities as EndNote. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more study tips. See you next time.